Hello YouTube, Farmer Son Prepping here. Hope you're all doing well today. Watched a video by Modern Refugee and he has inspired me to create my own medical emergency bug out bag. I think that's what he called it. I'm gonna call mine something different. I recently got this bag here, uh, just a free shopping bag. I don't have a backpack to put my stuff in yet, but uh, I'm going to call mine my hospital emergency bag. Uh, so I'm going to show you all everything I'm going to put in it. I'm going to set this bag down here on the floor. Uh, okay. First of all, some of those. Because I'm probably going to have to have some. And when I run out there, they can give me some more if they want me to wear them. Uh, these I got when I was in the hospital the last time. The little booties. I got, uh, I got a pair of the little booty, uh, socks with the treads on them. So there's that. I also decided to throw in, let's see if I can get them opened up here, uh, some x-rays of my leg in case it's uh, leg related again. There's two different ones here, two different x-rays. Uh, that way they can kind of get an idea of the hardware that's in my leg because uh, it's definitely in there. So uh, I thought I'd throw those in. Could be important, maybe not. Uh, per modern refugees, uh, a good thing to have would be sweatpants, uh, y'all know where I live, roll tide, uh, so a pair of sweatpants, something to keep you warm, a sweatshirt, Nothing exactly match the pants, but you know, they'll go together good enough in an emergency. So a sweatshirt, a regular t-shirt, just red because everything else is red, why not? Uh, I have three empty pill bottles now with no labels on them because I took the labels off I'm just going to do a quick glance here because it's got my personal information on it. But uh, I fixed them all to uh, to this piece of paper. So these are the three drugs that I'm on. Uh, like he said in his video, they're probably going to want to see the actual label, how it's wrote out. So I thought I would affix all of these to this one piece of paper. So now I have all the labels. I took the labels off my old empty pill bottles and I fixed them to this one piece of paper. So... I thought that might be helpful to them. Of course, underwear, I'm not going to show that, but uh, we've got under here, underwear here, a couple pair, socks, another regular pair of socks. A hanky, because I'm a hanky person. Uh, I can blow through a stack of 20 of these, but uh, I'm going to put these in here anyway. Uh, they are disposable, but uh, I'm a hanky person. Wash my hankies, and so I clean hanky. Uh, I'm going to choose to put in this Victorian Ox Swiss Army knife. This one has the nail file and scissors, and I cut my nails with scissors all the time on this knife. So, uh, you know, could be a survival situation at the hospital. I don't know how likely that is, but knowing me, I'm going to throw something survival in there. So, they're probably not going to like that. They're probably going to take it away from me, but whatever. Uh... Charger for my phone, a phone block, and this is an extra long phone cord. It's one of those 10 feet kind. So, charger for my phone, that would be very important. Stool softener. Uh, I'm going to throw this in because I, I had servers, uh, surgeries before, and I know that uh, doing number two after surgery can be complicated. Let me just put it that way. So, some uh, stool softener. Uh, let's see here. Uh, in this bag right here, I have, let me do it this way. I have some dude wipes, some deodorant, uh, some, uh, squeeze bottle soap in a travel size, some toothpaste and a toothbrush. So, cleanliness, that type of stuff. And so far, that is what I have for my hospital emergency bag. Uh, 
thank you for that video, Mono Refugee. You have inspired me. I think it's a it's a it's a wise thing for anybody over fifty years old to have something like this. Uh, yes, I will probably take my bug out bag as well. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't know, depending upon the situation. But this bag, my hospital emergency bag, I've got it now put together. It's ready to go. Uh, so I think uh, I think modern refugee that you had an awesome idea, buddy. You've inspired me to create one of these of my own. And uh, I do have a blanket that's going in here. Uh, it's in the washing machine right now, so I'm washing it. But it's a it's a it's a fleece thing, so uh, I think it'll work. And uh, appreciate you, modern refugee. Awesome video, brother. Uh, you've inspired me to make one myself. I think it's an excellent idea, because uh, you don't never know. And uh, the, having this put together. And being ready to grab, even if I'm on the stretcher and I can't grab it, I can point it to my sister and say, hey, grab that bag, bring it with us. It's got clothes and stuff I need. So, uh, video response to Modern Refugee. God bless you, buddy. Uh, hope your medical situation is getting better. We're still praying for you. Uh, thank you uh, for all those who are watching. And uh, please subscribe and share the videos if you can. I appreciate that. This is Farmer Sam Prepping. Check y'all later.